Hey you guys, it's Luke from Loaded here, welcome back to Spyro Yellow Dragon. In the last episode we took on Charmed Ridge, which is probably one of the more tricky levels, especially Jack and the Beanstalk. Absolutely disgusting level there. Um, but we did it, we did it. We managed to not only work out the puzzle, but get some nice precision platforming down and solve that. And, you know, get the egg associated with that. Well, the two eggs associated with that. Which brings our total to 101 eggs. My god, guys, we have got a lot of eggs now. And we are moving on to the final homeworld. So why don't we go over here and we're going to talk to all the characters. The rocket is ready for launch, Spyro. Hop aboard whenever you want. Alright, thank you, Greta. Hop aboard, Spyro, and boldly go where no dragon has gone before. Well, at least not in a thousand years, at any rate. Hop on, Spyro. Don't worry. Fairy engineering has never failed. Um, not so sure about that one. I guess this hunk of junk is supposed to fly. <laughs> sure glad I ain't the one getting on. All right. And the final guy, the suave talking Canadian penguin. The rocket's fueled up and ready to go. I love that guy so much. In any case, these guys have given their support to us. Let's hop right onto the rocket. Hop right onto the rocket. And go to Midnight Mountain, the final area within the game. I'm going to create a monster to end all monsters, <laughs> and I'm going to send it out to destroy all the dragons, even the little hatchlings. Yes, yes, it will smash them and crush them and grind them and tear them. Oh, yes, smear them and smoosh them and crack them and crease them. But, uh, won't that kill them? <laughs> well, that doesn't matter, as long as I can still collect their wings. What? All this time you've only wanted them for their wings? Of course, you ignorant girl. I need them for a spell, so I can live forever! Uh, uh, wait, wait a second, a, a spell? What did you think I was going to do with all those dragons? Open a zoo? <laughs> you said just keeping them in our world was enough. You never said you had to kill them. I don't have to kill them. It just stops them from wriggling so much. You're terrible. I can't believe I ever listened to you. Stupid, insolent brat. I'll take care of her as soon as I finish off that dragon. Now, where was I? Ah, yes! Alright, so, it looks like on our way to Midnight Mountain, we might just get ambushed once again. Alright, up and right here, Bentley this is here. This might be our last stand, Spyro. The sorceress plans to use this monster to destroy every iota of her opposition, beginning with the two of us. Alas, there is no time for ruminating. A battle awaits us. I will endeavor to assist you by means of a steady provision of combustible projectiles. Alright, thanks, Bentley. So, kicking it off here, we have Scorch. Um, probably another one of the... I think he's probably a little bit harder than Spike. I mean, Scorch is really pretty damn tricky. Um... Basically, he will spawn crabs that you then need to destroy in his first phase, and you will have to uh, hit him when he is spawning them like that. So when he's not, when he's got that barrier around him, he can't actually be injured. So you want to make sure you remember that. All right. He will also do. A fire rain attack 
that is really damn tricky to avoid. Um, but, you know, if you avoid it, then it's fine. Um, well, we have actually got plenty. Okay, he will also spawn um, TNT guys. And they, you know, are pretty damn powerful. And he will spawn that guy with... Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm sorry the commentary's a bit strange right now, but Scorch is very tricky. Um, and as such, I kind of need to concentrate just a little bit. I'll try and do my best to commentate, though. Yeah, his first phase, he's pretty easy to take care of in his first phase, honestly. I can't believe that crab took so long to come out of the egg, to be honest with you. It really shouldn't have, but shouldn't have, but yeah, whatever. Basically, Scorch is just gonna spawn a load of eggs. Um, uh, we're gonna stockpile the the missiles here that we can use against him. Now they won't work when he has that wind barrier up. I guess it's a wind barrier. Okay, managed to survive there by spraying those missiles. Alright, I think I managed to hit him there. One. Alright, I think I managed to hit him there as well. Alright, managed to get in there. Yeah. Quite low now. Now this thing right here, this thing is dangerous. It will eventually explode. But it is still really freaking annoying, if you know. Okay, because when it explodes, it does a lot of damage. But Scorch is so low. Come on, give me the... Okay, we actually managed to take him out there. Um, easier fight than one to remember. We get James from doing that. Um, honestly, Scorch, I find him tricky. Um, but you know, somehow I managed to beat him there. Um, uh, he's a lot easier than what I remember him to be actually. But you know, in any case, we get a cutscene here, so we're gonna go ahead and watch this. Hi, Bianca. Did you bring any more food? I'm starving. There's no time for that, Hunter. We have to stop the sorceress. She's gonna kill all the dragon hatchlings. Wait a minute. Why should I trust you? This could be another trap. You're in a cage, you furry numbskull. How can I trap you by letting you out? I don't know. You sorceress types can be sneaky. <laughs> I never thought we were going to hurt the dragons. Come on, we don't have time for this. Alright, so it looks like Bianca has had a change of heart after all, releasing Hunter from the prison that she put him in. And with this, we enter Midnight Mountain. Another one, you know what, I've said this for every homeworld, but... Man, this is one of my favourite ones. They're all so awesome. They're all one of my favourite ones. Um, the music is awesome. Everything is awesome. But we will go into more detail on that uh, in the next episode. So, I do apologise a little bit. I've got to apologise. Because this episode has been a little bit... Um, well, first of all, it's been very short. Very, very short. Um... You know, I like to break things up at each level, so that's why some are short, some are long. Um, now, I've got to apologise, because the thing is, like, there wasn't much commentary on this episode. And I'm, I'm well aware of the fact that my commentary was subpar when it was actually, um, when there actually was commentary on this level. And that is because I do, I do struggle with commentating on boss fights, uh, because, you know, there's actually not much going on, it's just repeating the same. In Spyro, the boss fights are 
relatively straightforward. It's just repeating the same thing over and over. I mean, um, you know, Spike was a boss fight that was a bit of an example. I mean, that one was pretty tough. Scorch, though, there's not much you can do. You gotta kind of focus as well because you gotta keep you you calm. You gotta keep keep focused on what's actually what he's spawning and but you know there's just a couple of things that I'll mention about the scorch fight the green projectile obviously is a instant damager like it's gonna hit while the red one you, you gotta keep pressing circle to spam it um, honestly I like the red one way more it's way better you can just, you want to stay away from the edge that he's on though, so you want to make sure you're not standing too close to him, because otherwise he'll spawn things on top of you. Um, he'll spawn three different things, he'll spawn crabs, in the second phase he'll spawn uh, guys with TNT, and in third stage he will spawn this weird sun thing that runs. I don't even know what the enemy is, but it's really weird. Um, but yeah, Scorch goes down, he's not too tricky. Not as hard as Spike, most definitely not. Surprised I did it that fast. In any case, I've been talking for quite a while now at the end of the episode, so I'm sure many of you have already have already turned the video off by this point because I'm just rambling at this stage. So, without further ado, in the next episode, we will be maybe heading around Midnight Mountain? I don't know. We'll find out, won't we? Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.